Ladies and gents, good evening. I'll um, give it a minute or so. Um, I don't expect very many people to come on live um, this evening. I just wanted to give a, um, a, a good few points um, and introduce myself to those that um, don't already know me. Um, so I'll crack straight on. Um, I, I put a few points on, on the internet yesterday um, just so people could um, look as to why they aren't um, going in the gym and, and failing with diet and all that sort of good stuff. But firstly, um, for those that have joined the, the group recently, uh, my, my name's Scott, I'm in the army and um, I've got pretty much 14 years experience in, in the PT sort of side of it um, and delivering um, circuit sort of style training. Now, last week we started and what we did was we did um, a week's worth of uh, training in the house. Um, and one point I want to make clear is it's not a, a you know you start day one week one and you have to go all the way up all the way through the training you can join the training whenever you want um it's all about your own esteem what i will say is, is don't join the training on a friday or, or jump straight into friday's training because friday's training is is what's going to test you okay that's what you're going to use um every friday to see where your achievements are um, and see where you get into so um, it's important that you, if you are going to do a previous training session, then jump on one prior to, to the Friday. However, we are going to go live every night again um, next week. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday being the um, the, the cheeky tunnel circuit again. There's a um, there's a few questions that's um, come our way um, and a hell of a lot of support, which has been absolutely fantastic throughout. Um, and it seems extremely positive that people are getting um, what they wanted from this. So... I'm going to go through a few questions that I put up yesterday um, and then if anyone's got any questions, please just feel free to, um, to, to write them in the comments and I'll, I'll literally, I'll answer them. So one of the questions I put up yesterday and I've, I've written down was, um, where are we? Have you ever tried sticking to the gym and failed? So what I'm getting at there is, you know, we, we come to January and we all decide to go on this big massive fitness train um, and we get a couple of weeks in and when we fail we decide that it's not for us and, and that's one reason or another um, I, I believe one of the main reasons for that is is because we, we don't feel that we're getting the results that, that we, um, we rightly deserve and it's obviously costing us money I honestly believe um, from, from the bottom of my heart that the training that we're doing all right, and, and that we're offering free of charge all right, will We'll get away that little myth and, and we'll hopefully keep you in um, interested in doing the training. Um, and so far, like I say, we've had quite a lot of views and we've had quite a lot of um, people sticking it and, it and it's good and it's positive. The other one is, and, I, and I've seen this across the, the years that I've been training, whether that be bodybuilding, doing a bit of powerlifting, whatever. People go in the gym and they always turn on and say, um, you must be on something, you know, you're on the gear or, you know, you're on this, you're on that. Um, because they've not had the same results that, that I've achieved. And, and it's nothing to do with that. What, what, what you find is, is the reason why these people or, or people like yourselves and me at one point wasn't getting results is because we haven't been doing it properly. And again, that's what we're here to do. And it's all free. So we're, we're going to get you from off your couch, into your front room, training, teach you stretches, teach you warm-ups, teach you different mobility exercises in order for you to then build on whatever physique you want, whether that be a fitness physique, whether that be a bodybuilding physique, or whether that's just strength and conditioning. But we'll build the platforms up for that. We go into um, one of the other questions is, um, you know, you'd have heard the phrases being thrown around about um, good genetics, body type, um, big bones, and all that sort of good stuff. I totally get it, all right? And the gym ain't for everybody. However, there is no magic cure and there is no magic pill. It's hard work and a good, solid diet. What you'll find is, is people will jump straight into, I'm going on a fitness uh, craze in January and I'm going to diet straight away. It is totally, totally counterproductive. Your, your body will panic. When your body starts panicking, it will then store fat. All right? You won't lose anything all right? um, other than your own self-esteem because it'll, it'll be counterproductive and you won't see results and you'll give up. What we're aiming to do is, is we're going to build a platform through physical training. Okay? You're going to start getting tired and you're going to start getting hungry of an evening. We're going to tell you to add food to your diet that you're on already. All right? Whether you eat pizzas every night, whether you eat Chinese, whatever, we're not bothered. But as you're burning calories now through the training that we're delivering, we're going to ask you to then add those calories back in, but with good food. And then slowly you will hopefully reverse your diet 
And before you know you are, you're eating a calorie um, deficit diet and you're losing um, weight by the week, which we'll come on to a little bit more in detail about weight in a moment, and then we'll touch some questions. What, what we going on here? What else we got? Do you go in a gym and, and you get a PT? And I'm not slating PTs by all means. I think some of them do, do an absolute fantastic job. Um, but I think sometimes we go into a gym and because it's a, a, it's a, a money sort of spinning craze, uh, people are charging through, through the teeth for, for sessions. And some people, rightly so, you know, I totally agree with it. People should earn from their expertise. However, if that PT is training you in the gym and is more interested in looking, say, at another female's um, backside or even another male for that matter, or whether he's on his mobile phone or she's on a mobile phone, that's not giving you the attention you need. So why are we different? Because your phone is what you are watching us through. So when we're doing these sessions, you can't be on your phone and neither can I, all right? So I'm giving you 100% attention, all right? I'm not doing this financially. I'm doing it for you and I'm doing it for my own self-gratification and I'm enjoying it. So no matter what, you will always get 100% from us, and I say us as um, Couch House Fitness because we're a team um, and what we deliver. And I'll say a massive thank you at that point for Jane coming in and doing the yoga um, class um, yesterday. More of that will happen all right, as we go along. We've had a huge amount of support. There's you know a load of different people on, on the um, on the group and a lot of people are watching um, very closely and these people will come in all right and they will bring expertise all right to people that want the advice which is absolutely fine all right we will deliver um, and that's what it's all about so i want to talk about diet but not too much about um sort of in detail a diet but this is where people have gone wrong all right and, and i think it's hugely important that we, we go on about this now everyone talks about losing weight and across the whole bodybuilding world and i'll say bodybuilding world because it's something i've been in all right, but across the whole fitness world um, as well, everyone talks about this, this you know, miracle diet and let's lose £10 a week, let's lose £8 a week. Listen, I, I can lose you a stone a week if you want to lose a stone a week. I can lose you a stone a day. Let's take your right arm off. It, you know, it's as easy as that. But that's not right. So if you go back to when you've been poorly and you've been sick, you'll lose, you know, eight to £10 just by being poorly. But then three days later, it's all back on, maybe more. Um, and that's no different to, to you know, some of these um, gimmick diets that people go on. Slim Fast, the Weight Watchers, the Atkins diet. These are all money-making ideas, okay, that people are there taking money out of your pocket. I guarantee there'll be people on this now, even people that are watching, would have tried those diets and got huge results within the first few weeks. Then came off that diet and had a massive, massive rebound. Okay, and these are the simple factors why. It is scientifically impossible for your body to lose eight pound of fat in a week. It won't happen. You will lose water. You will lose muscle glycogen. You will also lose a small amount of fat in that time. The only way for you to change your body composition is by slowly altering your diet and not making your body panic. You will then trick your body into thinking it needs to burn fat. And from that, you will burn anywhere between one and two pound of fat a week with the correct diet, which we will um, help you set up if need be. So what will happen is, is over a period of time, you will slowly trap, um, chop away at the fat because what your aim will be to do is to keep the metabolism high. And this is where it comes into how many meals you should be eating. So... Quite a lot of people, and I dare say a lot of people within this, starting this fitness regime in January, they'll skip breakfast, they may skip um, lunch, and they may only have an evening meal. Again, yeah, you know, you crack on if, if, that's, if that's what tickles your fancy. You could eat that evening meal and you could get the right amount of calories in per day in that one meal. However, that won't do anything for your metabolism, it'll spike your insulin, it'll have a completely and absolutely counterproductive um, process to your system. And this is the reason why. When you eat food, hormones are released. So if you imagine a steroid as a hormone, when you um, put food in your system or when you don't put food in your system, that will cause stress. Stress will then release a hormone, which will then store weight, which means you won't be burning fat. So what we need to do and what the aim is, is to try and stabilize the metabolism at a burning rate, a quite high rate, keep the PT going, get the good food in, and before you know who you are, you'll turn into an absolute fat burning machine and you'll lose two pound a week in fat. And that fat will be hard to come back on on a rebound, all right? Other than water and things like that. 
I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to preach diet to everyone and say, you need to be on a diet, you need to be on this. You know, I'm, I'm happy that people are just doing a bit of training. All right? I will do diet plans. I'll get the right people in to talk diet, whether, you know, that's for, um, you want to do in competitions, you want to do um, different um, disciplines. You know, you might be a boxer, you might be a powerlifter, you might be a karate expert. I totally get it, all right? And, and I'm not none of them, all right? But what I can do is I can tap into a network of people that one of on here and one that I've met that I can trust that won't charge me all right, and I can get you the advice, all right, and that is that is key trusted advice, and you know it will be a key and trusted because it's coming from our group, us, all right, and we're not charging you. Anybody can come over and say, I can do this, I can do that, all right, whereas we'll do it properly and we'll do it to help you. Last one before I um, put it out there for people to ask any questions, right, supplements and shakes, um, protein shakes and all that, they are good, okay, if you take them at the right time within your calories, all right? So you get your calorie, um, your calorie um, diet set up and you add where they need to be added. It's not a meal supplement, okay? It is an addition to your meals. For example, straight after training, your body is absolutely craving nutrition. You need to put some protein in there and you need to put carbs in there. And the reason why you do that, okay? And if you want a keto diet, I get that you would supplement that with fats, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later date. So you put the food back in, in order to sustain the fat burning um, sort of capability of the body. Anyway, enough said about diet. The advice is there if needed. Um, it's mainly to, to, you know, just tell people that, look, you know, Rome won't build in a day and we've got to, we've got to bear with it and we've got to um, try and obviously help each other out. So the questions there is now open, my quick Q&A um, for anybody to ask any questions about, about the group. Um, or anything about training, um, anyone that's intimidated or anything like that about training, more than happy to um, to help. We've had people with injuries um, join us. We've had people that um, believe that they are um, you know too big to be doing the training. But again, we, we've gone into things to um, to help people out. What we've got here. So, a qu hey, up, Luke, you all right? I think Lauren's asked a question. Um, it says, "Hey, Lauren, I can help you if you like." Luke, can you just elaborate on that, mate? What, what the um, what the question was? Because I've not, um, I, I didn't see a question come up, mate. I'm just going to flick through see if I can see anything. Oh, there we go. Do you do pointers on food, please? I'm struggling on what. Yeah, so like I say, you know, Luke, Luke's popped up straight away. You'll you'll see. Luke Luke's done um, several competitions, um, and in he, his placed um first in in the majority um a phenomenal athlete I, i've i've you know i've been with him at a competition um knows his diet inside and out and, and he'll pretty much say the same as me um diet is is bespoke to an individual okay you may react and this is for you love and, and everyone else listening you may react different to a carbohydrate for example um, and it's working out what that carbohydrate is going to do to you so you could take rice in so white rice and you may find that it bloats you um and, and Luke will tell you this as well. Um, you, you could put um, potato in um, your diet as a carbohydrate. And again, that might absolutely work, absolutely perfect for you. Um, but again, um, feel free, um, drop us a message. And um, and again, I'll either pass on with Luke, Luke and um, have a chat. Um, or I'll, um, I'll go through some nutritional stuff with you as well. Yeah, Luke, Luke's just reiterated there that obviously he, he can definitely help people. I offered Luke to come and do a, um, do a, do a live chat with us. Uh, Luke, Luke was a bit shy, <laughs> which, which is fine. Um, so I won't, um, I won't sort of push people into a, into a direction of, oh, yeah, come down and have a chat. Um, because obviously I'm asking people to do it for, for free in their own time as well. Um, but the support is there massively from, from some pretty decent people who know what they're talking so five away, um, as, as numbers start ticking down, anyone ask, ask some questions because you never know, there may be people on here that are, are dying to ask a question but think it's too too um, too stupid. This is aimed at everyone, all right, from first, um, you know, starting, um, so this is day one, week one, all the way to, you know, some of the military lads, some of the prison officers that I know of on here, all right. That, that you could say are quite advanced, right? This is this is for everybody, um, and like I say, if I can't answer it, I will not um, sow you down the garden path. I'm here to give you the right advice, um, or get you the advice that you need. All right, and I ain't gonna I ain't gonna start throwing um, you know prices that you saying you need to do this, you need to do that. All right, because I've got no I've got no reason to do that. 
any other questions again just please get sharing all right make sure this gets out as far and as wide around the country as possible all right all, all i want to do is just make sure that everyone gets you know a, a bit of a start and, and some um, foundations to get into training how cold does my head get in the winter well luke Many moons ago, all right, there was an invention called a hat, all right, so I wear one of those, all right, and it keeps my head warm. I hope that answers your question. Cliff, um, I just got my wife, it's about the diet plan aspects. Yeah, so Cliff, um, answering the question there about bland diets, a lot of people come back to bland diets, right? One of the main reasons why that is, and people don't realise this, and again, Luke will back this up 100%. The reason why a lot of people go straight to a bland diet is because if you imagine this, right? We turned around and we said to, to, to your missus, what we're going to do is we're going to give you sweet potato, we're going to give you white potato, we're going to give you rice, white rice, brown rice, long grain rice. We're going to do a whole array of different carbohydrates. And then she found herself bloating, um, holding water, having um, stomach cramps whatever we wouldn't be able to identify what that um, what the, what food was causing that so what a lot of people will do is, is they'll go straight in with a very bland diet chicken and rice and then add as, as time goes on so they'll add a bit of broccoli they'll add peanut butter they'll add this they'll add that so they'll add fats they'll have different proteins so then we know or how people in the system would know how your bodies would react to different proteins, different carbohydrates in order to then get you a, a, a diet that fits what you like to eat. That said, that's going down the lines of, you know, extreme um, professional diets. So that, that's com competition sort of style. I believe the way we would go around it is we would um, look at what food do you like, all right? And we would set you in a calorie deficit um, regardless, all right? And we would work around the percentage of fats that's in that's in the meals, good fats, that is. Um, and we would talk and give advice on how best to um, source foods that fits your diet. Um, for example, if I turn around and said, oh, you, you know, you can eat a few rashes of bacon and it's got some fats in it, it's whether or not you then work out whether they're good fats or bad fats. And that's where we will come in and we will get you good fats. We'll get you the right carbs and we'll get you the right proteins, okay, to hopefully put people on track, all right, in a calorie deficit. And I'll add that again, a calorie deficit so people can lose weight. What oh, have I got in here? Um... There are loads of other foods um, to help the body, yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, up, Tom, out. Luke, I don't know what you mean when you say um, food is wrong food. Um, uh, exa exactly that, yeah. You just, you just. Um, Gone on to it, Luke. Yeah, so it's finding what foods um, are good for you. Me, me and Luke talk about this all the time. So when Luke comes around for a brew, we, 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 we flash this out all the time and talk about, you know, what carbohydrates have worked for you. What's And, it, and Luke will always say to me, look, mate, what, what works for me may not work for you. And he's totally right. And I've done it with my brother, quite a few people on here, no, no, no our kid. And um, I talked to him quite a few times about different fats and different carbohydrates. Um, and he found that I think he was putting... Um, a load of potato in and I think he was getting bloated off potatoes so we changed one of the potatoes for a little bit of fat so we upped his fats a little bit he lost his bloat um, so it works it's just about finding what's right for you um, yeah see what I mean so you know look at Luke's profile and that, that's not me you know I, I won't jump on the back of someone else's um, merit Luke knows a hell of a lot and, and judge on his physique. Look how good he wins these competitions. Um, so trust me, he, he knows what he's talking about. Um, and like I say, I will give you the diet advice to get you through training. So I can tell you when to add a little bit more carbs, when to add more protein in order to get what you need out of the training that we're delivering. If you was to progress any further and decide, you know what, Scott, we're really enjoying this and we want to push further and we now have lost a few pound over a few weeks. So let's say in 14 weeks lost, um, lost 14 pound of fat, which you would then get a huge amount of um, definition on the body and look, look extremely well. You may then decide, you know what, I can lose another 14 pound um, because that was quite easy because to be honest the diet will be quite easy you then may want to compete 
that's when we'll start passing you up to the likes of Luke um, and passing you on to the relevant people in order to give you an even more stricter diet to cut away those um, th those last few sort of bits of fat. And remember, it's different between men and women as well. So women, you, you know, you don't want to be dropping down to the you know single figure do um, body fat like what what men will. Um, we will drop down anywhere between. Um, up, you know, eight, less than eight percent body fat, nothing below um, five, because that's when you you know get get poorly. But women, you need to be um, sitting around, you know, thirteen, fourteen percent body fat, um, because it can get it can get quite dangerous as well. So we won't run you down the garden path, and we'll um, we'll get you going. One sec. Yeah, Luke, Luke's put his. Um, I think that's. Um, Look, what is it? Is that like a? I, I'd say I'm, te I'm not technology privy me, so at Luke, I, I think that might be Instagram. <laughs> I might be looking a bit daft here, um, but Luke, Luke will tell you what that is. Anyone got any other questions? Okay, I've got another one for you, or well, not a question, but another bit of advice. Water, it's massive. Anyone, anyone who, who, who thinks that um, they want to change anything in the diet, the first thing regardless of anything else you know is water water is massive you want to be looking at about one to 1 1.5 ounce per pound of body weight all right that's what you want to be putting in and then add more as your training goes on you should never be feeling thirsty all right and that water um that water needs to be ice cold and this is the reason why how many times have we been out all right add a few beers especially males and we've um, accidentally urinated on our hands all right it's always warm the reason why that is, all right, is because your body has warmed that water up. Now, common sense prevails. If you're smashing in a load of that and it's ice cold and it's coming out warm, your body is burning calories just by sat doing whatever you're doing. So you can sit on the city and turn your body into a calorie burning machine, which will burn fat throughout the day just by drinking water. Simple as that. I've got some more things coming in. For, sorry, it hasn't come up. Um, Natalie, it's Instagram. Thank you. Luke's adding again, so the water will flush you out massively. Um, again, I've seen a lot of advice with people talking about having having a pint of water before before meals and things like that to stop you from um, wanting to consume more food. I think there's a lot of um, you know there's a lot of I'd say reasoning behind that, and, and I get it. Um, but the more food you take out your diet straight away the more you're going to crave and the more chance you've got of crashing now it's all right for the likes of you know me who goes to the gym or luke or you know cliff or whoever. anyone who's on, on here that's already a fitness fanatic you know you can go there all day long it's all right as saying you know don't do this don't do that and, and we know we'll stick on a diet plan because we've done it but to keep you guys um sticking on um the diet plan we don't want you crashing, or even on the, the fitness plan, we don't want you crashing and thinking, oh, you know what, I'm absolutely starving, I'm going to go get a bar of chocolate, or I'm going to have a Chinese. You can still have your Chinese, you can still have your pizza, it's called a cheat meal, you do it once a week, all right, it's more than happy. You are not prepping for competition, unless you're Luke, all right, who's back in prep, good effort, mate, all right, but for everyone else, just, you know, don't don't go into a massive panic diet. What we got here, home bargains, do a bottle, the measure about how much water you should drink. Why don't you tell me that then, Natalie? I could have got one of them today um, when I went to Home Bargains. Um, I've got one of them. I like it. It's not a bad idea having a, a, a water thing um, cut down. Get one of them. Split it up. Put some marker pen on it. Again, it's another, it's another one of them nice to have if, if that's what you want. Um, someone I um, work with. I never listen. No, that's that's the thing. <laughs> Too mad for it. Always doing something. Tomorrow's session. I'll talk a little bit about tomorrow's session while questions or if any other questions are coming in. Um, tomorrow's session again. It's going to be quite high intensity tomorrow. Um, we're going to push it. Um, but again, it's not always aimed at people who are quite fit. This is, um, 
this is aimed at everybody. So you turn up, all right, tomorrow night in your fizz kit and do what you can do, all right? If you can't do a squat or, or a press up, we'll do alternative movements. I've got a couple of questions coming in or so much being said. Let's hope we'll get over his shyness. Cliff's right, Luke. <laughs> Team Couch Potato Fitness. I like it. Listen, everyone's got to start somewhere. We've all been there and we've all looked in the mirror at some point and gone, you know what, we'll do it. But the likes of you, Luke, me, you, Cliff, all right, Nat and a few others on here that have been to the gym, we all know, right, we've seen those young lads and lasses taking the mick. We've even witnessed parts of it on here. All right, people will take the mick and take liberties out of people who are intimidated by going to the gym and it's completely and absolutely wrong. And then some other guy down the road will then take money off those people who are absolutely intimidated, all right? How about giving private sessions, all right, behind closed doors so people can't see it? So that's why we're here and that's what we're going to do, all right? And, and, and hopefully we'll get these people, not only will we lose you a little bit of fat, but we'll gain you a few years as well. Um, because living unhealthy, all right, isn't, isn't good. Um, and... We all know that the ultimate thing is, at some point, we are going to um, cop it at some point. <laughs> Two guarantees, you're born and you die. Um, but if we can prolong your life um, through fitness and health for free, then, yeah, let, let's, let's do it. Do you know what I mean? We owe, it, we owe each other that. Cheers, Luke. I get it. All right, that's spot on. Has anyone got any other questions? All right, like I said, I don't want it just to be me harping on. This is your group. We set this up a week ago, and we just decided we'll put it on and we'll see how what people say and what people want from it. And I want you guys to to, to speak to me. All right, I'm giving you free advice. I've got people in that can give advice. I'm not. There we go, Nikki. Good evening, Nikki. Hope you and Kevin um, are doing well. Um, and I'm hoping to see you in a, in a couple of weeks. Um, I've not trained for four months, not gained weight, but gone up a dress size. Definitely lost muscle. Nicky, we can square that away, all right? Uh, again, it's just sometimes, especially working around the shop and things like that, um, it's, it's going to have a strain on you. It's going to cause stress. Again, that will, that will naturally, um, it'll, it'll, push, it'll push weight on without even realising it. As the older we get, the bigger we get as well, believe it or not. Got interrupted there. Um, do apologise. But yeah, like I say, we'll, we'll help you and we'll do everything we can to, um, to square you away. Yes, please, Luke. I'm getting bored of the same foods now. Mackerel will be help. There you go, Lauren. Likewise, all right, have a chat with Luke, all right, but feel free, again, just to message us, all right, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll do what we can to support you as well. Um, and remember, one of the most important things is anyone that's deciding to change the diet now, all right, my, my biggest advice to all of you would be just to add things around the training at the moment. So have some carbohydrates around the training, so before, during and after, um, and add your proteins before and after um, the workout as well. That'll feed your bodies, all right? And what that'll do is it'll stop your body from panicking and storing fat, and then we'll slowly start changing diets. Those that are already on diets that don't seem to be getting anywhere, Again, send us a message, we'll, we'll signpost you to the right people and we'll get you on the right diet, okay, and we'll, we'll start shredding weight. I'll reiterate, you can lose £10 a week if you want, all right, or you can lose £2 a week correctly. Yeah, Luke, cheers, cheers buddy. I'll, um, cheers for tuning in, mate, and giving some advice. Really appreciate it, mate. Um, I'll, I'll message you later on. Um, top bloke. And um, guys, while, while Luke's on here as well, um, there's a there's a site there's another group um, FAQ um, it's fucking it's called local hopes put an hashtag up all right that's a really 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 good group full of huge amount of knowledge um, of folk on there and what you'll find on that group as well is it's none of this um, a woman puts a post up and loads of men will then say like 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 other groups that all right this is man or woman regardless of um, what ability you are at, again, they will give you advice. So I don't mind signposting towards um, towards um, Facken as well. So F-A-Q-I-N, all right? So that is literally another site that um, Luke's one of the admins on as well, all right? And, and he'll, um, there you go. So he's put it up, all right? So 
please get amongst that have a look at it again there, there is no no one it's not a debate page none of us are into debating we won't give it all oh I do this and it's better than this and it's better than that everyone will um, will, will go down and, and look after you I've had some absolute amazing advice on there um, and quite a lot of it off Luke <laughs> I have protein shakes which I don't eat meat and struggle to get the great stuff what you're doing mate cheers Danny a long time no see um, it's a shame I don't get back to town um, very often and see some of the older lads that I um, went to school with um, but hopefully at some point um, we'll come and do a um, come and do a session um, in, in town um, and, and hopefully get you all on it and, and have some fun military style Anyone got any more questions? If you don't want to post them on here, I'm, I'm more than happy for, um, for for you guys to um, to message me. Luke and Cliff, you you two seem to be um, getting a bit close, which is fine. All right, it's all welcome in the group. Okay. Luke does sentences in like three comments. Sends a comment saying, "Good to hear," and then from you, Cliff. Which is pretty crazy. Any more for any more then? Any more questions before we uh, before we finish the chat? All right, again, just a massive thank you to everyone for supporting and all the kind um, words that people have said. Um, thanks for the help. I'll message you. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Love a nice one. Spot on. Yeah, Luke, I'll, I'll message you next time. Um, Cliff's over. He's meant to be over this weekend, but um, because of the weather and stuff, um, we've, had, we've had to change a few things. Um but Luke, I'll message you, mate. Come over. It's going to be a bit difficult to get about to eat because you're in prep. But to bring your Tupperware, mate, and we'll um, more than happy do a session. We'll all do a session in the house. Spot on, cheers, Luke. So, ladies, gents, um, Dan, I'll hold you to that. We'll um, we'll definitely have a pint in the Valor Summit. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll definitely come over and sort some it. But for everyone else, if there's any more questions, please feel free. All right, throw some questions over. Um, before we cut off just make sure there's no other points that I needed to cover there's no other real points in there um, one thing I did write down that I didn't mention is um, why, why, why choose um, Couch House Fitness over anyone else um, well it, it's simple what you got to lose all right, other than body fat we're not here to, you know, to blag you, to try and rip you off or anything like that. I'm not saying anyone else is, all right? But what I'm saying is, is we're giving you a platform to get something for free, all right? And to hopefully get you off your couch, doing a bit of fizz, um, and making you a little bit fit and a little bit healthier. Um, it won't be for everyone, all right? But, you know, you give it a go. It, it could potentially be the difference between you dipping your hand in your pocket, signing up for a gym membership, and then going, well, that was a waste of money. Then actually coming to Couch House Fitness, doing a few sessions and going, I've not lost any money. Fitness isn't for me. Nah, I'm not doing this, all right? Or you might say, no, actually, I like this fitness. I will go to a gym and I will join it, all right? But again, please, before you go and commit and start joining gyms or um, asking for PTs and things like that, give us a shout. Um, because again, I know enough people um, around the country um, that I can speak to and find out about different gyms. So there's gyms in Doncaster that I know, there's gyms in Milton Keynes, Leighton Buzzard, um, Newcastle, Middlesbrough, Darlington, and Andover, Salisbury, you, you, you name it, up and down the country, there, there is gyms, okay, that um, we know people that are in, all right, and that I can get the right people to make sure you are looked after in the right gym as well. All right, so not all these um, sort of chain gyms, all right, some of the gyms will be back street gyms, all right, but the, the knowledge and advice you can get from there will be second to none. Hey up, John, I hope you're all right, mate. John, when you, um, later on, if you end up doing a, um, doing a session, um, do Fridays, oh, I guess, and then leave, leave, me a, um, leave me a post, because I know you've been doing quite a bit of fitness um, recently. I know you've got a bit of an injury, but um, it'd be interesting to see what your views are on this one, to what you've been doing in the gym um, previously. Um, because I'd like to think that you'll actually say, I worked harder in my front room than what I did in the gym. So please have a crack of it and then let us know um, how you get on. Any more, any more?
Any more questions? I'll leave it on here for, for a couple of more minutes and if there's any more questions then I'll answer them. If not, then um, we'll look at um, closing down. Again, feel free to, to personal message me. Absolutely fine with that. All right, and um, and again, we'll, um, we'll we'll try and um, answer any questions that you've got. Yeah, cheers, Lauren. See you tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying it, sweetheart. Um, and like I say, do as much as you can. Uh, enjoy it. See you. See you. At, um, see you at eight o'clock tomorrow night. Enjoy your mackerel. Any more for any more? Evening, Ian. Just seeing you pop up. Hope you're well, mate. I'd, I'd say the same thing to you, Ian. I'd say um, jump over these sessions. I've trained with you, and, and you're a bit of a um, bit of a fit lad as well. Um, yeah, Nicky, it'll be good to see you pop up on um, on Tuesday um, by all means, um, and and hopefully you enjoy it. Cheers, Lauren. Any more for any more. Yeah, I'm 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 live here and I'm on live. I'm doing a doing a Q and A, mate, and um, I've been for the last God knows how long. Um, just talked a little bit about diet, talked a little bit about um, the training that we're doing and things like that, and signposting people into the right area. So have a look at it back and, and let us know what you think. Amanda, I, I, I it'd be good to see you um, see your reaction as well tomorrow because. Um, you and I both know, all right, that you've got that grit and determination, all right, to see something through. Um, and it's people like you that will give a view on here of, you know what, that was different. And, and that's what we need. Um, because people like yourself will give inspiration to other people. So it'll be really, really good to, to see your view on the um, on the page tomorrow. So I will be chasing you. Say, Amanda, 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 get the review up, all right, and see how we get on. Any more for any more. We'll have to see if I can go for another five days as well. People think that I won't be able to do it. I can do it. I like my fitness. Pre-record it. That's all I do is pre-record things 10 seconds at a time and just post it. Catch you all out. Good evening, Tom. Hope you're well. All right. I'm hoping you've jumped on some of these sessions and laughed at me and, and took the mech. All right, I put some funnies in there, or I tried to. All right, but again, any, any questions for anyone? All right, before we shut off for the evening. All right, and then we'll tune in tomorrow um, at eight. Dent, hope everything's all right. And I hope you're um, enjoying the fitness as well, jumping in there. Any more for any more? Anyone got any more questions? Okay, so all that I'm going to say now then, unless hope pops up, is um, get plenty of water in, get some food in, all right, and um, and join us tomorrow. I'll put some posts up to um, tomorrow through the day anyway, just giving you the, the the sort of general warnings that we're about to go live, and then we'll go live tomorrow and we'll have a um, another really really good session. Um, if anyone wants to do something different, all right. Um, Hey, up trade, I hope you're all right, buddy. If anyone wants to do anything different in the training, um, so to mix it up a little bit, throw the ideas my way, all right, and I, and I will, I'll, I'll, I'll quite happily do whatever training sessions you want. But what I'll do is I'll then adapt the movement so it caters for everybody, um, because not everyone's an athlete. Um, some people are just starting off, so we need to make sure that we cater for, for everybody on the group. All right? Any more for any more? Shaden, I'm going to get you down to do a boxing circuit at some point. All right, I'll pick you up. You can come over and do a live boxing circuit for everyone. So at the moment, Amanda, what I'd say about eating is this way we're going to start going into um, diet and things like that again. And I, and I want to stay a little bit away from it, but I will go into it. We have a four-hour, what we call a four-hour anabolic window. Okay, That's two hours before training, two hours after. So ideally, all right, you need to be having a meal two hours, within two hours, before training and then within two hours after training to get the best out of that diet. That said, don't have, if you like, a, you know, a chicken breast and rice 10 minutes before we train because um, what you'll find is, is you'll be sick. 
Shaden, I would handle it, all right? And when I come over in March, all right, when I do the event, all right, I'll show you how I can handle it. I'll come down to the gym with you. I'll do a full circuit and we'll see who can be sick first, all right? And I guarantee it won't be me. Um, and I'll hold you to that one as well, all right? That doesn't mean, Shaden, that we go into the ring and you start punching my head in, all right? That's not what I've said. I've said we will do a circuit, a fitness circuit, with one of your coaches, all right, and we'll see who can be made sick first. And I guarantee it will not be me, all right? Remember, when we went out running, Shaden, all right, remember that. That's all I'm going to say. Me and you went out for a nice five-miler, all right, and hopefully you'll remember, all right, that your Uncle Scott ain't unfit. Enough said. Danny H, watching all the way over from, um, from Crazy Land. Hope you're well. So it is. Any more for any more? Questions, questions, questions. All oh, after. Sorry, Amanda, I've just seen something on there. Oh, I, I think I've answered that anyway. Um, so hopefully, um, hopefully that's okay. But Amanda, if you've got any more questions, just fire it over, please. Um, yeah, more than happy with that shade, and I'll come over and I'll do a... a, 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 a um, a strength and conditioning um, circuit with, with Neil. More than happy, mate. More than happy. You're paying, and I'll get the um, I'll get the drinks after. All right, soft drinks, because that'll kill me. Even though you're old enough, but hey ho. The um, but yeah, and then um, but what we'll do then, Shaden, and I'll hold you a deal to it. Is I'll do your strength and conditioning circuit. All right, when I come over to Grimsby, and then you do my circuit. All right, and what we'll do is is we'll do a five mile run. All right. From a five mile run, we'll do a ton up. Then straight after that ton up, we'll do a four mile run into a ton up. Then a three mile run into a ton up. A two mile run into a ton up. A one mile run into a ton up. Your choice, mate, but I'm more than happy to um, to do that. All right, let's see if you can do it. Put your money where your mouth is, mate. Okay, any more for any more? Okay, I'm going to shut off now then, ladies and gents. All right, for those that are just joining, catch up on what, what's just been said on the video. Hope you've all had a good weekend, um, and I look forward to um, seeing people tune in tomorrow. When you tune in tomorrow, you won't see me answering any comments because I can't read them because I'm, I'm blowing out my hoop, um, running around my front room. Um, I will do shading, don't you worry, pal. Um, Absolutely fine. Shade and I am not worried whatsoever. All right. I'll ring you in about five minutes anyway because I need to speak to your dad. Any more for any more? Okay, have a good evening. All right. Tune in tomorrow at eight o'clock uh, for, for a real um, good session. Again, I will give you um, regressions and progressions so everybody, so it caters for everybody on the, um, on the exercises um, and then we'll go from there. If anyone wants anything different, let us know. Um, tune in tomorrow. And enjoy it. Take care. Have a good night.